Hey everyone. The other day I was talking to my friend and I um, came across my copy of Scum Manifesto. So I opened it up and read a little section and uh, found it kind of funny. And I was like, I should probably re upload that to YouTube. So this is me doing that, obviously. Um, enjoy this little section from Valerie Solanus's great work, Scum Manifesto, for thrill-seeking females um, on sexuality. Sex is not part of the relationship. On the contrary, it is a solitary experience, non-creative, a gross waste of time. The female can easily, far more easily than she may think, condition away her sex drive, leaving her completely cool and cerebral and free to pursue truly worthy relationships and activities. But the male, who seems to dig women sexually, and who seeks constantly to arouse them, stimulates the highly sexed female to frenzies of lust, throwing her into a sex bag from which few women ever escape. The lecherous male excited the lustful female. He has to. When the female transcends her body, rises above animalism, the male, whose ego consists of his cock, will disappear. Sex is the refuge of the mindless, and the more mindless the woman, the more deeply embedded in the male culture in short, the nicer she is, the more sexual she is. The nicest women in our quote-unquote society are raving sex maniacs. But just being awfully, awfully nice, they don't, of course, descend to fucking. That's uncouth. Rather, they make love, commune, by means of their bodies, and establish sensual rapport. The literary ones are attuned to the throb of Arabs and attain a clutch upon the universe. The religious have spiritual communion with the divine sensualism. The mystics merge with the erotic principle and blend with the cosmos, and the acid heads contact their erotic cells. On the other hand, those females least embedded in the male culture, quote unquote culture, the least nice, those crass and simple souls who reduce fucking to fucking, who are too childish for the grown up world of suburbs, mortgages, mops, and baby shit too selfish to raise kids and husbands, that would be me, too uncivilized to give a shit for anyone's opinion of them, too arrogant to respect daddy, the greats, or the deep wisdom of the ancients, who trust only their animal gutter instincts, who equate culture with chicks, whose sole diversion is prowling for emotional thrills and excitement, who are given to disgusting, nasty, upsetting scenes, Hateful, violent bitches, giving to slamming those who unduly irritate them in the teeth, who'd sink a shiv into a man's chest or ram an ice pick up his asshole as soon as look at him, if they knew they could get away with it. In short, those who by the standards of our quote-unquote culture are scum, these females are cool and relatively cerebral and skirting asexuality. Unhampered by propriety, niceness, discretion, public opinion, morals, the respect of assholes, always funky, dirty, low-down scum gets around and around and around. They've seen the whole show, every bit of it, the fucking scene, the sucking scene, the dyke scene. They've covered the whole waterfront, been under every dock and pier, the Peter Pier, the Pussy Pier. You've got to go through a lot of sex to get to anti-sex. And Scum's been through it all, and they're now ready for a new show. They want to crawl out from under the dock, move, take off, sink out. But Scum doesn't prevail. Scum's still in the gutter of our quote-unquote society, which, if it's not deflected from its present course, and if the bomb doesn't drop on it, will hump itself to death. You know, when reading that, I was like, you know, how how apt it was for, I don't know, the past few years of interacting with uh, and coming to understand what this phenomenon known as, like, sex-positive feminism is. Now, I, I, I don't really accept anything that's so male-centric as feminism, um, but... <laughs> You know, it's it's very interesting how she just frames it as like the more mindless the woman, the more focused she is on being dick pleasing, and um, you know I think that's where a lot of women um, 
fail to go far enough. Um, they're so concerned with being fuckable that they are unwilling to even live honest lives where they're genuinely like doing things for themselves or uh, following their thoughts to their rational conclusions. So, um, yeah, I, God bless the Scum Manifesto. Uh, very, very important work in feminist history. Um, and yeah, I will talk to y'all later.